Hi, I'm Mickey from Little Acre and I'm here to show you how to set up your lion's mane grow kit. These mushrooms are truly unique. You can see that they don't really look like any other mushrooms that you can grow and they've got amazing flavor. They've got this snowball-like appearance and these icicles that come off the front and I'm here to show you how you can get a number of harvests from one of our grow kits. So to start off, you'll have one of our kits and what you want to do to start off with is just open up the top And inside you'll find a spray bottle and an instructional card. Now you'll see that the block, the lion's main block is deep inside there. We don't want to remove it. So we'll just close that up now. Flip it over and we'll see we've got a recipe card on the back there. Fantastic lion's mane tacos, and I'll just run you through some pointers at the end of the video of how to cook these best. But for now, we're just gonna remove that recipe card. So there's some perforations in the back here, so we're just gonna remove that with our fingers. So just push down. And you'll prize out the recipe card like that. Pop that on your fridge. And what we'll see here is the lion's mane growing behind that plastic wall there. So this is the lion's mane mycelium. And now we need to make a small hole for these lion's manes to come out. You can see over here that we've got a rounded shape to the mushroom and that's dictated by how we're gonna cut into this kit. So that's really important. So with a nice clean knife, what we're gonna do is cut a very small X just in the center here of this kit. You can cut into the Substrate, that's no problem. But what you're wanting to do is make an X around the size of around a one centimeter in diameter. Okay, this is much, much smaller than, say, if, you, if you've used one of our oyster kits before, you've cut it from edge to edge. And that's because the oyster mushrooms grow in a bunch and they'll fill up this whole space and grow out in a big floral bunch. The lion's mane, if you did this, it would grow into the shape of the X. So some people find that happens and that's because the area that you've cut is too large. So just a small cut here will be plenty. Doesn't look like much now. Then with your spray bottle, you wanna fill that up with some, just some tap water. And then for now, we just give that a spray. You can lift up the, the flap slightly and just spray underneath. So now you want to place that out of direct sunlight and sheltered from any wind. Okay, the ideal spot that we recommend is your kitchen because that's where you'll be able to keep an eye on it. So for now, we can just place that in our kitchen and every day we want to just give that a mist two to three times a day. We just want to create a bit of a humidity microclimate around that X. Now the lion's mane mycelium will sense that the oxygen has been opened up in that X there and it will start to sprout a baby mushroom. Now. These take a little bit longer than our oyster mushroom kits, so you won't see much activity for around seven to 10 days. But what you will see is around this area, it will start to get a deeper white color, and that's the thicker mycelial mat forming behind the plastic there. And in around seven days, you'll start to see a mushroom form. But these kits can take up to 14 to 21 days to start to get the mushroom to the size that we see over here. So longer than the oyster mushroom kit. So if you start an oyster mushroom kit and the lion's main kit at the start, at the same time, you'll see a lot more activity on the oyster kit very quickly, whereas the lion's main kit might not look like much is going on, but it's just taking us uh, slightly longer to get develop. So for now, we just wanna place that in the kitchen for around seven to 10 days, keeping an eye on it and just misting it, like we said. And what you'll get is a mushroom forming just like this. So we can see there's a couple of variations here and they're just a little slightly different in age. You can see the difference between this lion's mane here and this lion's mane. This lion's mane's just slightly older and you can see it's got its icicles forming and they're protruding out and further down. And this is an indication that it's ready to harvest. So as the lion's mane is growing, you wanna keep providing that humidity, but you don't wanna spray directly onto the mushroom and it starts soaking the mushroom. That could, might cause some bacterial blotch to occur. So just spray, just generally around the mushroom like this just providing a bit of humidity around it as it's forming, okay? Because that's important, otherwise if it dries out, the mushroom will stop growing. So you should see a little bit of growth each day once the mushroom starts to form. So once it gets to a stage that looks like this where the icicles are protruding down and have lengthened, 
this is the ideal time to harvest the mushroom. So once your lion's mane is ready for harvesting, I'll just show you the technique that's best to harvest a lion's mane mushroom. So these mushrooms do bruise easily, and this is why you don't find them in the stores. But what you want to do is you just want to grab it around the edge and you just want to give it a twist. And you'll just twist off the back there and you can see that that small X there is where it came away. So you want to handle these as little as possible. So it's best to store this in the fridge in a paper bag, but we've got one, one lion's mane here and we'll want to get another lion's mane. So I'll show you a technique to get a second harvest out of this lion's mane kit. So once you've pulled it off, what you want to do is open up the kit, pull out the block. You can see that's where we've harvested from. Simply turn it around, pull that plastic underneath and expose the other side of this kit. Straight back in. back in its box and we've got a fresh side to cut into. So all we'll need to do with the clean knife again, little X there, and just like before, provide some humidity and you'll see another lion's mane starting to develop in around roughly the same time, that 10 day marker. So once you've taken a second harvest from your kit, you can keep cutting holes into this block until it's exhausted. Just flip the kit over again and cut a new hole in a new space on the block and see if you can get another harvest from it. After probably two to three harvests, we'll call this kit a spent kit because it will no longer produce any mushrooms. And you'll feel the kit getting lighter and lighter as the mushrooms are being developed because all of the moisture from inside the block here is being put into the mushrooms that come out. So once that happens, you can pull it out of the box and you can put it as a mulch or put this substrate into your compost. So going back to the lion's mane we just harvested, so they can look intimidating to cook, but all you need to do is just slice this guy up and what you wanna do is start it in a dry frying pan. So traditionally with mushrooms, you might put the frying pan on and put some butter and oil in and just dump the mushrooms in and those mushrooms will soak up that oil and butter. But what you wanna do with a lion's mane is you want it to let it start in a dry frying pan, so no oil and butter. And what that is gonna allow it to do is evaporate some of the moisture from the mushroom itself and that's gonna reduce any bitterness that you might find in a lion's mane mushroom if you started it in butter and oil. So that's the tip for that. So once you start it in a dry frying pan, it goes golden, flip it over, get a bit of color on it, then you can add your butter and your oil and you can fry it up. And we've got that recipe card here for lion's mane tacos that you can follow, or there's tons of other recipes online about lion's mane mushrooms as well. So some troubleshooting tips for growing your lion's mane. As it starts to grow, if you see it going yellow, that means it's starting to dry out. So you wanna keep that humidity up and make sure it doesn't dry out, okay? Because that's really important for these icicles to form and for getting that fruit body really big, nice and big here. The other tip is if you start to see it going pink, and this is just an indication that it's got too much carbon dioxide around it. So you might have it in a box or in a cupboard. And what you wanna do is just have it in a well-ventilated space, okay? There's no need for that. You just gotta keep that humidity up and you should avoid those problems. So follow these tips and grow some awesome lion's mane with our lion's mane grow kit.